In step uh, nine of assignment number one in access, uh, you're gonna create your second report. This is what your second report will end up looking like eventually. So this will be the summary report. And what it's telling you that you need in the instructions is first name, last name of the salesperson, the uh, total quantity that has sold, the sales, total sales, and then a net sales after we take the discount. We're gonna start all this by going back, first of all, and creating a query. So we're gonna create a query, and in our query, it's just gonna be a simple query. Click OK. We know that we need from our invoices table, we're gonna to need to know the uh, number sold. We're gonna to need to know the salesman's name that's in there. Oh, I put in sold, we really don't have to have that. What we do need is quantity because everything that's being sold is just one item. I do need the discount. So I'm gonna put that on there. Uh, what else do we need here? Um, we need from the sales staff, we need their first name and we need their last name in there. So it looks like everything that we're, we're kind of looking for there. First name, last name, salesman, quantity, and discount. Click on next. We know that we're gonna to have to have some summary data. So click on summary and look at summary options. Quantity, we're gonna sum this up. And discount, we're going to average. Click OK. You can go next, we'll just go ahead and click to finish. And at that point, you should see we're getting close. We're, we're beginning to see the things, you know, some of the things that we need. We have a sum of our quantity. We have our average discount. However, what we're missing is total sales and net sales. So once again, remember back from the access tutorial, and just to save time, I'm gonna go over to the summary report that's finished. But what you can do to add columns, if you right click on your query and go to design view, Remember how you can come in here on this top field and you can add in a um, you can add in a sum. So once again, let me just go ahead and get off that one. This is what I want you to go to. In when you add your extra column, this total sales column that you're going to put in, type in total sales, sum, quantity times 48.95, make sure that on your dropdown, you choose expression, click to make sure that you can show it, okay? Once you've done that, if you click on run, it'll take you in and it'll add your total sales. Then for your net sales, once again, you're gonna right click, go to design view, type in net sales equals the sum, times 48.95, and the reason for 48.95, that's back in the instructions, each one of these calculators cost $48.95, minus the discount, which is here, times 48.95, okay? Once you put that in, again, click Run. At this point, you have done everything in your query, everything is set up. All you have to do net, after that point, click on Report. Once you get your report, it'll pull up in here and it'll show you all of your data. You can expand it, move it around, make it pretty, but that should get you through step nine.